Hi guys, I'm Crystal Sky, and really quick before my stream, I want to talk to you guys about how important it is to have a pencil sharpener that works for you. Um, so this is my new pencil sharpener, the Duet. It is a mechanical, battery operated, and then manual pencil sharpener. It's really easy to clean, it's easy to open, and as you can see, I got a lot of pencil shavings in there. So I have reviewed the Prismacolor Premier 48 set, and I've told you guys how much I dislike this set of colored pencils. Um, I talked to you guys about how they were breaking constantly, and how some of the pencils were super small, because whenever I went to go use them, they would just break, and then I'd sharpen them, and then they'd work for a minute, and then they'd break again. If I bring them all to the bottom, you can see. You can see all the ones that broke constantly. Yep. Especially this cream one that I got. Or is it is it cream? It's beige. PC997. Yeah, that one uh, especially broke a lot. So, that was my problem with the set. And I was using the Prismacolor brand pencil sharpener. I was using their brand of pencil sharpener. It was a hand pencil sharpener that I threw out after I got this pencil sharpener. Let me tell you why I had so much hatred for this pencil sharpener. So recently, I've been using these, these Prismacolor pencils in my sketchbook. And I found out that I actually don't hate them. I like them. So let's, let's get into my sketchbook here. This is the new sketchbook I'm using. It's the Ilios uh, sketchbook. Let me move my bucket out of the way. It's the Ilios sketchbook. I have it on some other sketchbooks. I should probably move those. So this is the Ilios sketchbook I've been using. And, um, got a lot of stuff in here, no? A lot of stuff in here. So, eventually, my moleskin tour is going to come out. When I don't sound so sick. <laughs> Um, but let's just do some so character stuff. Let's just do some basic shading in this sketchbook. Now this isn't really, I, I don't think this sketchbook really is for um, colored pencils, but they work just fine actually. So we're gonna try some shading out. I'm gonna do a couple of reds and oranges. You know what, we're gonna do orange with a little red brandish. So let's try that. These are the colors I picked. Now, some of these haven't been sharpened, so you're gonna hear some noise. I hope that doesn't bother you. <sighs> so we're gonna put down a light orange here. You know, little circles. Just like I learned with the polychromos. Now I learned all my color pencil techniques from polychromos videos. So I'm treating them like I would draw with polychromos. So you'll see in a minute why that I think works better for me. And I didn't realize I could use them with Prismacolors just the way I do because the they were breaking. And as you can see now they're not. <laughs> They're not breaking at all right now, which is fantastic. All right, a little red in there. Looks pretty good actually. Make sure you don't put too many layers down. I found out with colored pencils. light orange but we're gonna do the shadow first sometimes I go in with the orange first and other times I don't I think just the reason for that is I like to have the red to blend in with the orange right away it's hard to do a lot of layers with these like the polychromos can take I only usually use these if I'm doing one or two layers this one's three so it's gonna take I'm gonna take a little extra effort to blend this one back when I need it. So we're gonna leave that little spot there for the white glare. 
probably take a white colored pencil to it. Right? So as you guys can see, it blended out much nicer than my previous colored pencil work. Let's see if we can take a white colored pencil. I still don't like the white Prismacolor too much though. That, that in my review is true. Yeah, yeah Polychromos would do a much better <laughs> white glare than that. But oh well. So not bad, you know, pretty basic stuff that I'm not very good at. But as you can see, it blended out really nice. And even though this is flat paper, it took it pretty nicely. So the problems I had with Polychromos, or not Polychromos, Prismacolor were remedied with this sharpener. Now, I'm not sure if the Prismacolor brand was just never tested with the Prismacolor sharpener. Maybe they're different departments or something. All I know is that when I use this pencil sharpener, it doesn't break. Now, I thought using the brand pencil sharpener with the brand pencils would work. You know, that never crossed my mind that they wouldn't, but uh, it didn't. <laughs> so it's all an experience, and uh, so I like my, my Prismacolor colored pencils better now. Uh, I still, my polychromos are still my favorite. They don't break, and they never have, but... Um, like them a little bit better now and I have a lot more colors so than just my polychromos because my polychromos is a 12 set because they're more expensive so definitely really fun and uh, that's why pencil sharpeners are super important so thank you guys so much for watching so we're gonna have a little update you guys um, I did get a comment a couple of days ago uh, you know it's been a while what happened it's been a few weeks I don't know if you can see it can you see it on my hand Maybe a little bit. There's a big scar from here to here. All the way around here. From here all the way around here. Um, so I hurt my hand really badly. Um, enough to get it to scar. It's fading now, but um, I pre-record my videos. So I went on a trip to Las Vegas and I pre-recorded all of the videos before I went. So I had videos from up until a week after the end of the Las Vegas trip. Two of those videos I held on to until I was ready to make more videos. Um, so I have a whole set of videos laid out. It's just my hand was really, really hurt. I had like a whole patch of stuff on top of it and it was hard to draw. You guys actually might have seen when I was shading, it's a little bit shaky still. But I can draw now and it's fine. I don't have anything on it anymore. So it's just a regular looking hand now. <laughs> so we're good. But uh, I hurt my hand really badly. I burned it. Burned it like really bad. So anytime I used a pencil or anything, it, moving or stretching the skin on top hurt really bad. So I took a break. And I decided to upload the two videos when I first started. Now, again, it's fine now. It's 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 definitely, you can see the scar, but it's fine. I don't know if you guys can see the scar. It's pretty obvious to me where the scar is, but you guys might not be able to see it because of the lamp glare. <laughs> Let me move my lamp a little bit. Probably not. Um, so that's why I took a break. I'm sorry for everybody who was offended by my break. Um, again, couldn't help it. I, I hurt my hand pretty badly. Um, and I also had a family crisis right then, so <laughs> I had to deal with that. But we're all good now. We're, we're fine. I have regular videos recording. My next video is um, Hobonichi related, so if you guys like my planner videos, um, that's coming. Um, I'm going to show you what I've been using my planner for and what planners I'm going to be, pick be picking up um, today, actually, because it's September 1st already. Um, I'm going to show you guys some gouache paintings, I'm going to do a, I'm not actually almost done with this sketchbook, this is my moleskin, so I'm going to be doing a moleskin tour and review as soon as I'm done, as you guys can see there's like 10 pages left in there. Um, and then I did a review or a tour of this sketchbook I believe, so that's done, this can go in the file. I have one page left in this sketchbook. So, um, 
yeah, I'm working on a whole bunch of sketchbooks next to me, and eventually those will get tours. They're all right here. You guys can see. And, um, yeah, and then I'm going to do a review of this sketchbook when it's done, but this one I just bought, so I'm, like, halfway through, a little less than halfway through. Really like this sketchbook. Going to show you what I'm working on. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later.